This is the story of how we taught my cat to play the piano. almost nearly impossible. This is actually a pretty difficult task to pull off. If you Google cat pianist, you'll find cats walking on pianos, but none that are making real music. Even the dog video sort of cheated by having people point to the right notes. Whoa. Cool. So for Michael to ascend as the world's first cat maestro, I feel like he's gotta do more than just paw at the keys. It's actually got to sound good. So if you're wondering why we even went through all this trouble, it started a few months back when Michael and I were going into schools teaching kids how to make YouTube videos. One of the students asked if he could do any tricks. Even though the kids enjoyed our videos, they wanted to see Michael doing something cool in person. Another girl raised her hand just to tell us that her dog could fetch. Michael just sort of sat there awkwardly, not really sure how to respond. I was hoping that maybe Michael didn't hear or understand the kid's remarks, but on our drive home, I could tell he was really down on himself. Embarrassed that he didn't have any real talents, I felt like a failed parent for not putting any time or energy into teaching Michael any skills that would translate into the real world. Michael was stuck in deep depression and we needed something to boost his confidence. Michael, you okay? A few days later, Michael had an idea that changed everything. So here's the plan. We're gonna teach Michael to become the world's first cat pianist. That way, when we go back to the school, instead of feeling shamed, he'll have the skills that he needs to impress the students and regain his confidence. Operation Michael Mozart turned Michael into the world's first cat pianist. <laughs> now that we had a clear goal in mind, we started brainstorming ways to teach Michael not only to play the piano, but play the right notes at the right time. After weeks of brainstorming, we decided to start with help from a cat trainer. We knew it wouldn't be easy and not everyone believed in us. Here's how we tried. Step one, take a cup, Put a piece of food in it and wait for Michael to knock the cup over in order to grab the food. It took some time, but eventually he got it. I could sense his confidence improving. Step two, remove the treat from the cup and see if he'll still touch the cup. Automatic. Step three, place a sticky note on the cup and give him a treat every time he touches the sticky note. Step four, remove the sticky note and place it on the floor without the cup. Ow. Step five, lock out the haters. Ow. Step six, move the sticky note onto the piano. Slowly make the sticky note smaller and smaller. Eventually you're gonna remove the sticky note completely and just point to the piano. And point again. And, oh, nice. This was the moment that I realized that this might actually work. I felt like Farmer from the big movie when he sees him hurting the sheep for the first time. I'd seen animals on movies and TV display intelligence, but had no idea that those same skills existed in Michael too. Now came the new challenge of teaching him to play a bunch of notes and do it on cue in front of an audience. After days of failure, I began to realize this would be a lot more challenging. Michael's self-esteem was at risk and I couldn't bear to see him go a whole summer depressed. If Michael could learn how to order a pizza, I know he could learn to play the piano. So after some brainstorming, we discovered a completely new plan. A few years ago, we did a live stream with our cats where fans could interact with them through the automated laser pointers and treat dispenser. Whenever the lights went off, the cats knew it was time to be fed and they would walk over to their mini fridge because they knew the treats were coming. This made me wonder if we could use the same mechanism to automate the process of teaching Michael to play the piano the right notes. Okay, so here's the new plan. We're gonna build a new piano that dispenses treats and rewards Michael every time he plays the right note as designated by this red dot. Here's a montage of how we made it in case you wanna make one for your cats too. 
It's super simple. Just disassemble the piano. Attach a serial to find the notes for your favorite song. Program them into the Arduino. Show it to your family. See your wife's disappointed face. <laughs> throw it away and start from scratch. I decided to reach out to my buddy Sebastian who had already made his own cat feeder. After some CNC milling, sanding, painting, we're then gonna print out the custom designed food dispenser. If you wanna try making one of these for your own pet, you can use this link for a breakdown of the whole process. Now, here's the finished piano. the moment of truth, could this piano feeder train Michael to play the song on its own? I wanted to start from scratch, so I threw out the sticky note and tried this time by placing a kibble on top of the piano. This works great because he'd naturally step on the keyboard while reaching up to eat the kibble. Over time, he began to associate the key playing with food falling out of the piano. Even our one-year-old started to learn. <laughs> Eventually, he began to notice lights and associated them with the food dispensing. To make sure Michael could perform under pressure, we brought in a dummy version of Michael's crush. After a practice home performance, it was time to put it all on the line. Michael's big shot at redemption. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Magnificent Michael, a cat who can play the piano. Enjoy. The rest of our class visits for the year went amazing. The kids loved Michael's real life talent and Michael loved entertaining. His confidence was back. Overall, this was one of the most rewarding experiences I've had with Michael and now I get to enjoy my own personal concert twice a day. When we started this challenge three months ago, I had no idea that it would lead me to create the world's first pet piano. I've come to love and enjoy the entire process from writing the code and making it functional to designing the wood enclosure, making it practical yet aesthetically pleasing. It's also made me realize how rewarding it's been to connect with my cat, Michael, through a new hobby that slows his eating while stimulating him mentally. Even Phil started to take interest. Michael's nine years old now, and he's still learning new things, and I'm still learning more about him. What I love about this design is that it's really simple and easy to use. We've even seen some of our friends' cats and dogs pick it up without any human-led training. I've loved seeing our friends find new ways to connect with their cats and dogs, and so I'm thinking of making a bunch more of these and sending them out to those of you that want to give it a try. We're going to be limited in the number of these that we can send out, but if you're interested in trying one with your own cat or dog, go ahead and use the link in the description below. Take care.